baridi nilikuwa nasikia you guys it was not even funny it was not funny hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, so of late i've been ill i've uh, had the worst scare of the year it's not even of the year of my entire life um so i had this covid scare on monday monday was 12th no 13th after labor day so this is what happened on saturday we had the event that uh, we had organized for cc since we are her bridesmaids uh, we had the bridal shower which was uh, on Mombasa Road is a said uh, uh, what is it called Ole Sereni yeah that's where we had organized for the party at the 15th floor rooftop so we went it was all good it was all good you guys we had so much fun ate drank made merry we gave advice the best advice we had oh my gosh it was so so beautiful the whole event was beautiful but then again evening came my sweater was in the car and i didn't want to get it i was still feeling you know either vibes and then we were having one or two drinks here and there so i thought it was okay but me and cold we don't go we don't mix we are like paraffin and water so here's me i thought ah it will pass anyway uh nine came we were still there baridi ile upepoiko iyo mahali it's bad it's bad so um we parted, we parted and parted and parted and uh, 11 came, it was time for everyone to go home. I'm telling you the place was so windy. Mimi, I don't, Mina Baridi, Hatuskizanagi, that's why you even see me wearing this, which is kind of hot. It was cold earlier on, but right now it's very sunny and i'm using natural lighting right now so you can imagine i am sweating but that's also because i'm still not feeling well anywho um sato passed sunday came sunday came and then uh, i went to church of course with my family and then after church i we decided hey let's go visit my sister and she's also in Zosukimau, so we went mm, all the way to Siokimau and then uh, it was also very windy at her place. It's usually very windy. It's not like this place where I live. Like right now, it's so calm but sunny at the same time and uh, cloudy, a bit cloudy. So after the entire um, visit, not not necessarily the entire visit after we cooked and ate and everything she had a fundi whom she was supposed to go meet um because she's building akonahim zengo it's not so far away so we decided uh, let's just leave the cars let's just walk so while we were walking I could tell something is wrong because the cold I was feeling but it didn't look when I scare you guys it was not even funny it was not funny and I kept on telling them hey ah we should have gone with the cars because the cold that I'm feeling plus this wind uh -uh, something is wrong and they were like ah it's just the wind till pass oh blah 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 and so we went it's it, it was like about uh, 10 minutes to 15 minutes walk to and there was another 15 10 to 15 minutes back and the entire time I was telling them hey way I'm so cold I feel like my blood you know usually you feel hot because the blood is hot 
so now i was feeling cold and in my blood i could feel it's also cold but then also again i could feel uku it's as if my tonsillitis are starting to like wake up anywho we went we stayed there for about 20 to 30 minutes while she was still talking with the fundi as we were just going up and down and looking at the whole building how it's going oh she's built she's building a very beautiful house by the way and i'll give you a house tour of the entire place when it's done you'll see she has taste he runs in the family anywho um as we were just walking while she was uh talking with the fundi who had come to whatever business they had anyway so uh sun came out at around five ish so me i decided to go and sit outside and um let the sun soak in because the cold i was feeling honestly and no one had carried a bui bui or a sweater so ilikuwa kujipanga anyway so uh the, she was done with the fundi and it was time to come back home we went back home and then I, rem we, I remembered actually it was i who remembered hey i can't live without drinking some juice that we had made since uh she also sells passion passion fruits yeah so we had made i had made with together with them the passion juice and then after making it i don't know what told them it was a good idea to put it in the fridge and now remember uh the entire sunday was sunny nothing uh like clouds or anything of this sort so see what i wake up juice kwa fridge after that uh me it was almost time for us to leave so i said hey i can't live without having the juice we made we made juice came it was so good i drank a whole two cups of uh the juice remember i don't drink cold things but on that day since uh, i don't know what devil came uh, came on to me and told me hey Eve, boo, it was a good idea if you drink the juice for the kids we mixed with some more water but for me i decided to just swallow it like that my god remember i still feel something huku and the whole time i was drinking warm water but then that juice i drank as cold as it came anyway that day we we came back home uh cooked and then i didn't even eat because we ate uh there and during night time i don't usually um eat that much or i don't eat food so we slept and monday came i could feel something was wrong now see monday the, now jamhuri day was sunday now monday was uh, the extension of the holiday since it fell on a weekend so people were still working at home me i didn't go to work on that day so we were just here i was uh, doing laundry so i did laundry and then uh, evening came where where I fell ill and not just the one uh, falling ill I was feeling cold I had a very terrible headache I couldn't sleep because my joints were aching let me start googling the, the symptoms of COVID and I was pretty sure that was COVID but now the thing is I wasn't uh, my temperature was ranging up on 37 usually it's at 36.5 but now it had gone just slightly up which is normal it's considered normal so it looked up 37 so but i was pretty sure these signs that i'm googling ni covid now let me start thinking about my children my god my husband everyone in this house what end are happy i was so scared I was so scared and let me now start thinking of the deaths that, that covid is causing 
and I'm like, hey God, I cannot go like this. I cannot go like this. Please, God. I have a family. I have a family that needs me. <laughs> Honestly, please just heal me. Take it away from me. So, and that was the entire night. I didn't even sleep well. Now, my young one loves to sleep here with me. And loves to sleep in uh, our bedroom. That night I had to take her to her room and then lock this door because she comes so usually she comes down when uh, I've locked the door otherwise if she doesn't hear the click kwamlango she will still come back inside so I locked the door and that she, she slept with the sister where they in their room now after the whole night so Habi uh, had to go to work the next day because he went to work and then uh, me, he just left me here sleeping because I had told him I wasn't feeling well. I'm telling you that entire morning, now on Tuesday morning, the in fact not just the morning, the entire day, the way I was feeling. I couldn't sleep. Nikila Lahibi, I turn and then sleep the other way. I turn the sleep. I'm here because of God's grace, honestly. Because I was feeling like uh, I've never felt that my entire life. Maybe Kitambo Sana, but the la I can't even remember the last time I had malaria, you guys. I can't. So, me, I was pretty sure after Googling the symptoms of COVID. I had COVID. I was so scared for my life and my family. And so, hey, thank you God. I decided to get the vaccine. And um, today is on Thursday as I'm recording this. It's uh, afternoon time on Thursday. And I'm thinking tomorrow or Monday, I have to get the vaccine period. Because I cannot feel this. Uh, I don't even know how to call it. I cannot feel like this again. I can't. Like, wow. Anyway, on um, on Tuesday, uh, Happy kept calling the entire time, making sure I was okay and everyone else was okay. Uh, but then, in the around twelve. Hey, I told him I can't. I need to go to the hospital. So uh, I'm getting ready. He told me, are you just wait? Let me uh, come and take you to the hospital. So he comes at around one. He takes me to the hospital. The nearest hospital that we know of is the area in AAR, which is in Kitengela. That's where we went. We wanted to go to Aga Khan or Nairobi West earlier on, but we couldn't find any imagine that but I'm coming back we just see where KCA is in Kitengela the sign of Aga Khan and we passed it while going and we didn't see it anyway we went to Aga to AAR and um, I was checked and they told me uh, it's an infection that was building up it was still mild but the way I was feeling you guys uh, that was not mild after taking a blood sample and going to you know analyze it they came back and the doctor told me uh, this is just a mild infection you'll be okay there's nothing to worry about let me tell you after hearing that I had to ask like twice are you sure are you sure you don't want to take a sample to to do the COVID test and all that and he was like ah, there's no need for that everything is okay uh we've seen it was with covid patients you do not have covid but he prescribed me some drugs he gives me he gave me an antibiotic he gave me um one for homa and one is a painkiller because my head was killing me yo my head was bursting like literally I couldn't even move my head like this because of how much of a headache I had on that day. And besides that, 
my joints especially my hip area to my knee area jesus i was feeling like blood was literally cold hey now i understood one time my grandma told me the reason why they wear sweaters when uh, they are old is because their blood is cold usually gets cold as you get old as you age i understood completely how my 80s 90s is going to be where it was bad so guys if you haven't taken the vaccine i would advise anyone and everyone to go get the vaccine because it's scary i was scared that i was going to leave my kids that i was going to leave my family oh my god so i decided that me i'm getting the vaccine i'm getting the vaccine and that was my scary story of um uh, how i thought it was covid and i was scared to death i was really really scared so if you haven't get, gotten the vaccine hey please don't play with life life is precious your life is really precious you start thinking of the many things you haven't done that you could have done by now or how many things you haven't yet done that you still want to do and then you think if you have a family you think of your family you think of your kids you think hey no so me finally i will be getting the vaccine finally because i don't want to be ever scared of my life like this ever again ever again so right now the only thing that's that's uh worse is the cough i'm still coughing a bit not so much though as you've seen i've gotten through the 16th minute without coughing which is a pretty good thing yeah hey i'm thankful for life man i'm thankful very thankful for life i don't ever want to be scared or feel like there's nothing i can they or feel like i can't do anything at this point so yeah i'm getting finally getting the vaccine so yeah that's my covid my scary covid experience and it's not good having the thoughts of having covid especially with the new variants that are still going on where you never know you never know so me i want to be careful next time and i'm going to get the vaccine by next week i should have been vaccinated and i want to go for the one jab then that's it <coughs> and i still feel very dry which is why i have my water right there it's warm that flask keeps water warm throughout throughout and then i also wanted to uh, feel like i'm doing something useful with my life right now which is why i decided to just get the camera and record and also film another video that i want to do so yeah that's my covid experience bye guys hope you take care and keep safe God bless you.